This is really nice. Yep, and it's the last stop on our tour. Here you'll be evaluated by the trainers, the bosses, and your fellow wrestlers. When you're in the gym, all eyes are on you. Oh, sorry, isn't there anyone on the European side we can discuss this with? Ugh, not discuss, discuss. So, what do you think? I can't believe I'm actually here. I meant about the tour. Too rushed? I don't mind. I'm anxious to get started. We feel the same way. Sure seems like it. Oh, sorry, one of those days, you know. Listen, I've been the head recruiter here for a few years now, and I can't remember another trainee I've been this excited about. I'm finishing up a tour right now. Frankly, not one of my best. I'll be back in my office in five. Any questions? Uh, just one or two, maybe. Like, I was wondering- Great. I've got to run and deal with this. And you've got the last bit of forms to fill out. Waivers and whatnot. I gave you your training gear, right? No, I didn't. Get started on the forms. I'll be back in a few. When WWE is trying to put smiles on people's faces all over the world, it truly is all hands on deck. I'm walking back to my office now. Walking back to... Wall King... Back... To... I thought England was always cloudy and raining. Isn't that like its whole thing? Hold on. All set? All set. Great. Nervous? Don't be. You've got a great look. I think you're going to enjoy your time here. Thanks. I'm just ready to work to make this dream happen. That's the right attitude. Dedication. Focus. Hey, yep, got all that. Go ahead and get changed. The other trainees should be here soon. Everyone meets in the main ring area. Will do. You're going to get a survey on how your first day orientation went. For my job security, it would be great if you could... All fives. It's out of ten. All tens. Maybe one nine, just so it doesn't look fishy. <laughs> Stupid question, but how fast is the fastest boat? That's not that fast. I heard we had another indie wrestler showing up. I guess we have that in common. Let's get this straight. I'm from the indies, but I'm not like you. I trained in Calgary. Am I supposed to be impressed? It's the epicenter of wrestling. I competed with the best independent wrestlers in North America, and I've got the scars to prove it. No one's ever gonna hit me hard enough to leave a scar. I'm going to enjoy watching you fail, small time. Training at the PC isn't like anything you've done before. I've been here a month, and my body's more banged up than a two-seater in its fourth demolition derby of the night. You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. You should know as well as anyone that it doesn't matter where you come from. It's what you do when you get here. I plan on proving I deserve to stay. I've worked too hard for too long to get here to let some tenderfoot steal my spot. I don't steal things. I earn them. Well, you've already earned a beatdown from me. So good luck. Hey, I'm Mei Lee, but everybody calls me Fanny. Nice to... because my last name is Fan and I'm a WWE super fan. And hopefully someday when I make it to WWE, there'll be Fandemonium. Get it? Sounds good, Fanny. Nice! I am so excited you're here. Really? Wow. I didn't know anyone who would know who I was. 
Much less that I'd have a fan. Well, I'm mostly just happy you're here because I'm tired of being the new girl. I have seen your stuff on the indies, but I'm more into BCW. You ever heard of Buzz? Yeah, I've even seen him wrestle once or twice. Once or twice? I've seen him wrestle 2,009 times. Most of them in person. Am I gonna have to be deposed in a court case? He actually put in a good word with management to get me in here. And this has been the best two weeks of my life. Well, maybe not quite as good as the two weeks I camped out for WrestleMania tickets in New Jersey. It was colder, but there were a lot fewer surprise super kicks. You know WrestleMania, right? Yeah, I don't live under a rock. It's only the biggest, greatest, grandest event in the entire universe. It's the crown jewel of sports entertainment. I've been six times, as a fan, obviously, but maybe, I mean, could you imagine? Fandemonium in the ring at WrestleMania? Anything can happen in WWE, right? So who knows, maybe I'll be right there with you. Awesome! Sup, new girl? Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Even though I'm mainly training the men right now, I'm always around if you need any advice. Good to know. One thing I can share with you right now is that in this business, you either have it or you don't. My daddy taught me something a long time ago. You could polish a dog turd all day, but at the end of the day, it's still doo-doo. I'm not sure I totally understand. Me neither. Why would anyone even want to polish dog poo? It's disgusting. Anyway, trust your gut, pick your spots, and make sure you don't end up in the D-O-double-G house. Good luck. Woo! <laughs> First off, I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of our WWE journey. If you hadn't noticed, there's a lot going on behind the scenes today, so fortunately, I don't have time to go through the big corporate speech that old Vinnie Mac and his pals in HR require me to give every single time a new trainee arrives. So we're going to cut to the chase. Have you met Chase? He used to dress like a giant rib. Huh? Fanny, zip it. Sorry, Mrs. Glamazon. Okay. As you may or may not know, the WWE superstars just finished up a huge European tour. Unfortunately, a big storm hit, and now their plane won't make it back in time for Raw in Miami tonight. There are a few superstars who weren't on the tour that are able to make the show, but now Sasha Banks doesn't have an opponent. OMG, the bus! Fanny! Anyway, we heard from Raw GM Mandy Rose that they're scrambling to find someone to take on Sasha. So, that's where one of you comes in. I'm already packed. Let's go. That's great. But we haven't made a decision on which one of you will face Sasha tonight. And in WWE, we like to solve our problems in the ring. There's no decision. It's me. She started hyperventilating the moment Beth walked in. You think she can wrestle on live television in front of the entire WWE universe? I can do it. I'll be fine. Whoa, whoa getting dizzy. I better sit down. Yeah, I'm out. And she hasn't been here long enough to know where the restrooms are. Third door on the right. <sighs> it's second door on the left, but close. Look, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. Josie, you've been a bit banged up recently. Are you even up for this match? I can do it. Sasha Banks won't know what hit her. Okay, problem solved. Josie will go face Sasha. Not unless she gets through me first. The decision has already been made. I thought in WWE, we solve our problems in the ring. Yeah, most of the time we do. But this is different. We're on a time crunch here. Sean, she's got a point. Okay, okay, fine. You two, get in the ring. Winner goes to Raw to face Sasha Banks. And whatever you do, make it quick. Okay.
What do you want? I know I'm the one going to face Sasha Banks now, but just wanted to say, nice match. Thanks. I'll admit you're better than I thought. But you're lucky I'm not 100%. If I was, I'd be the one taking on Sasha Banks tonight. So next time we fight, I promise it won't be anything like our first encounter. I look forward to seeing you at your best. That was amazing! Are you so excited? I'm so excited, and I'm not even going to Raw. How springy do you think the mat will be? Same as here, or slightly different? Do you think Sasha Banks will smell good? Will you bring me back something from catering? Oh, and some hotel shampoo? Fanny, you're starting to hyperventilate again. I know! This is embarrassing! You're the one going, and I'm hyperventilating! <laughs> I guess I'm just hyperventilating on the inside. Right. I'm gonna go try to calm down. Good luck, and don't forget the shampoo! Ugh, oh, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here to face Sasha Banks tonight. They sent you? You've been at the PC for what, 24 hours? I think it was just under three, actually. Great. I mean, first it was the travel issues and now this. Do you think the other GMs have to deal with this crap? No, they don't. They could have at least sent someone who spent some time inside a real ring. I thought it would be Josie Jane. Sorry to ruin your plans, but get used to it, because Sasha Banks doesn't stand a chance tonight. Ugh, green and stupid? This is going to be ugly. What's up? I'm R Truth. Welcome to Friday Night Raw. Isn't it Monday Night Raw? Man, I was one of the lucky ones who made it back from Europe. I'm so jet lagged, I don't know what day it is. But Raw is always on Mondays. Only if you don't have a DVR. Anyway, someone told me you were a PC girl. That's right. Cool. I don't know nothing about computers, but I'm starting to think that fad is here to stay. PC stands for Performance Center. Maybe you should change your name to R Dumb. Change my name? And just pretend that R Truth never existed? Okay, quick. I mean, okay, kid. Quit messing around. But enough about that. I heard you're going to race Sasha Banks. You better run fast. Face Sasha Banks. In the ring. Oh, that makes more sense. Still, she's tough as hell. So you still better run fast. Good luck, girl! Who are you? I'm actually your opponent tonight. No, you're not. I don't wrestle fans. I'm not a fan. Well, I am a fan, you know, of yours. And WWE, of course. But, I mean, I'm from the PC. I know who's at the PC. You? Ain't one of them. I just started today. And they sent you to face me? Are you kidding? I was supposed to have a Raw Women's Championship match against Naomi tonight. And now I'm facing off against this joke? <laughs> Wait, are you dying and this is your wish? You're gonna wish you hadn't said that. I might be new here, but tonight you're gonna call me the boss. I'm going to enjoy this. She's in a fighting mood tonight. survived training with Booker T and battled through the Indies before she got the call to report to Orlando. And she leveled up the train alongside icon Shawn Michaels and Beth Phoenix at the Performance Center. And now we're going to see the results of the training.
She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete. It's boss time. The standard, the blueprint, one of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division, period. And from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Stephanie McMahon brought Charlotte, Becky Lynch, and Sasha Banks to WWE, and those three women changed the course of history as we know it today. Yeah, Sasha Banks has been a trailblazer. She has been at the forefront of that change. In fact, Sasha's career-long motto, be so good, they can't ignore you. in the women's division in WWE. We have an unprecedented situation tonight where due to the fact almost the entire roster was stranded overseas, you're going to see some fresh faces on Raw. And one of those fresh faces is Sasha Banks' opponent who just started at the Performance Center earlier today. It's one thing to be a rookie and take on the boss, but this is insane. I have a feeling her face isn't going to be so fresh after this is over. Yeah. Boom! Basement drop kick. Climbing up to the top now. Soaring. Wow! 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 Stomping down. Big reversal against the boss. She's pushed into the corner. Impressive reversal there. She's sent to the outside. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Running Hurricane Rana. She's in the ring now. She's going up. Top rope here. Up high. All the way to the outside. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Two. Banks has to be discouraged here, and Banks needs to go back to the drawing board. Great counter! Banks finally finding an answer to that onslaught. That's putting a stop to all her showboating. Boom, DDT! Sasha Banks not looking good here. Oh, she misses the mark. And up the turnbuckles we go. Flying! see this happen here tonight. She just started the performance center this morning. This is unheard of. And the boss wants nothing to do with a handshake. She's livid. Sasha Banks is in shock right now. I would be too. Nonetheless, what a moment. You sure are luckier than a skinny caribou in September. Lucky? I beat Sasha Banks fair and square. Don't ever forget, the only reason you were there was because I was hurt. That should have been me. Yeah, but it wasn't you, was it? It was me. I was the one who beat Sasha Banks in front of millions. And you were still here crying about it. I am going to dedicate myself to showing the world the truth about you. That I deserve to compete with the best? I think they already know. Okay, tell me everything. How did it feel? Winning? I mean, it felt great. Obviously. No, not that. I want to know about the ring, the ropes. How was the catering? Do they use real silverware or plastic? Oh, do they have extra underwear in case you get so excited that you pee a little? Um, I didn't ask. 
Did you shower after? Sorry, stupid question. I don't think I would, though. Talk about a sweat souvenir. I can't believe you beat Sasha Banks. Do you want to watch the match? I've recorded the whole thing on my phone. I've seen it about 30 times already. No thanks. I was there. I know how it turned out. <laughs> totally. I'm gonna watch it again, though, either way. Still can't believe it. See you out there, champ. Like everyone else, I was glued to my TV last night. Congratulations. A really impressive win, especially right out of the gate. Maybe one of these days you'll find a real challenge for me. Let's not spend too much time in the afterglow. You still have a long road ahead of you. Time to get back to the grind. Wait, you expect me to keep training here? I beat the boss on Raw. I bet the only reason Mandy Rose didn't sign me on the spot was because she was jealous she never did anything like that. Listen, rookie, this is your second day. I could fill an arena with everything you don't know. So how about we ditch the attitude and get back to training? I get that you're gonna make me put in more time here. But after what I did last night, I'm taking a day off. No, you're not. Not without severe consequences. I'm not one of your bratty kids, okay? Your empty threats don't scare me. So why don't you go get HBK some coffee or something? I'm gonna find Fanny and let her show me some of my highlights. You had to go and make it personal. You might have beaten the boss last night, but let's see if you can beat your boss right now. That might be worth giving up my day off. I am a WWE Hall of Famer. My career will be remembered forever, and yours might just end today. You think you're going to end my career? Yeah. Even though you think my job is to get coffee, I'm actually a head trainer here. So this is what's gonna happen. If you can somehow beat me, I'll let you keep training. But if I win, Mr. McMahon has given me the authority to say, you're fired. See you in the ring, rookie. I hope that was a wake-up call. It was. For you. Don't doubt me. Don't challenge me. You'll just end up looking foolish. One of these days, that attitude is gonna catch up with you.
Like how age has clearly caught up with you? Just let me do my thing and stay out of my way. Oh my gosh, were you so nervous? No. Beth Phoenix is no match for me. Clearly. Is it weird that I find you both fascinating and terrifying? Everything about you is weird. Just don't, like, put up a shrine in your locker to me, okay? Sure. I'll take it down. Ugh, oh, so close. And yet so far. Oh, wait. Were you talking about Beth trying to get rid of me? Or are you never quite making it? One of these days. You'll finally recognize the talent that is right in front of you. See you in the ring, Josie. Sounds like we almost got rid of you. You'll get rid of me soon enough, but it won't be your call. We both know it's only a matter of time before I'm moved up. Maybe, but there's a reason it hasn't happened yet. I know. Pure stupidity. I guess we finally agree on something. <laughs>